Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris. I just got here. It's, I'm in my hotel bathroom. Uh, the, the lighting in here is a lot better than out there. Anyway, I'm here in New York City. I just got here from Syracuse and I'm here to go to the, the, the plant-based expo. Um, I usually go to the natural products expo, which is not all vegan, but the plant-based expo tomorrow is all vegan. It's the first of its kind. I'm excited to go there. There's going to be a ton of vegan companies. A bunch of my friends are going to be there from different companies and uh, there's going to be a bunch of speakers there too. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to bring you guys along so uh, we can do this together. You may have heard me talk about V-Dog in other videos. V-Dog is an all vegan dog food, but they also have treats. And here is their new blueberry treats. They also have peanut butter wiggles and breath bones. And they have the little kibble for smaller dogs and the bigger kibble for dogs like my German Shepherd Indy. Currently they're working on wet food, so I'm excited about that. Just we're a curated online vegan marketplace. We started about two months and we're partnering with brands um, every day. Um, one of them being Edward and Sons, hopefully. So check us out. And I'm always talking about Edward and Sons in my expo videos. They carry some awesome products, including the mac and cheese and the wizard's Worcester sauce. And we have Happy Planet Oat Milk. It's all right, it's not my favorite. I like Oatly Butter. And here's Sweet Earth Cauliflower Mac. Everybody's been telling me to try this, saying it's delicious. I tried it. It wasn't my favorite. I think it was kind of bland. It needed some more spices. But I think that if I was in my kitchen, I could make it taste a little bit better. I am at Good Planet Foods, and I just want to say they have some of the best cheese out there. Shreds and slices. But they're also working on a cream cheese and a queso. It's coming soon. Please look for it. Yes. I'm here with Ingrid, and Ingrid, tell us what you do. So, hi everyone, I'm uh, Ingrid. I am from Paris, actually. I was, I moved here about seven years ago, and I run a film festival that is called Chelsea Film Festival. We're socially relevant, focused film festival in New York City. So, I'm making a film, so we're yeah. gonna talk. We're gonna talk. Stay tuned. No Evil Foods is coming out with some jerky. I love jerky, so these three are amazing. They also have several other vegan meats, and Upton's has some seitan, and they also have their jerky bits and their bacon mac and cheese on display. The jerky is not out yet, but it will be coming soon. Here I chose the chocolate sea salt cookie from Fat Badger. It was pretty good. And here's the pig out bacon chips these are kind of like potato chips but they're made out of mushroom i'm here with plant-based gabriel online at vegan actions guys this is where they certify vegan products to be vegan you certify products that are vegan with so that sign right there now what yes. kind of things do they have to pass obviously be vegan but correct so we work with uh, over 10,000 different brands and that are products and that can be Clothing, cosmetics, uh, most people know us from our food, but uh, and you can see 
We got the little V there in the back of most products you can see, but really it's three main things. The first one is they don't contain any animal products. That's pretty basic. Uh, the second would be they weren't processed with animal products. So uh, white sugar, most people um, understand contain, some, sometimes it's processed if it's not organic with bone char. So that's a big one. And then we also make sure that uh, it hasn't been tested on any animals. And so that's not just the product, that's also we'll go up that chain of events and make sure that the ingredients haven't been tested on the animals as well. And what about if it's processed in a facility that makes other things like cheese and eggs and dairy? So, so we make sure that there's no cross-contamination there, um, but we don't get into necessarily the, uh, it does not have to be a specific specified area for that, exactly. So basically, um, a vegan product that is made in the same facility, shared equipment, can be certified vegan? As long as they're going through the right protocols. I mean, we do work with a lot of different organizations that are not just vegan. So our goal is that if they want to produce a vegan product and they're going through the right steps, so not using any animal products, not testing it on animals, uh, then we, uh, we want to do our best to make sure that um, we're helping them reach that vegan audience and uh, just helping them show that the vegan audience really wants to, uh, has a demand for it. All right, you hear that guys? That's, if you see that vegan certification, it's good to go. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you. You're very welcome. Mango John. Oh, nice. Ready? Top edition. Yeah, yeah. like uh, we have a, we have a cater. For A new vegan cheese that I've never heard of. Uh, this is their launch, and I'm. Are you the owner, co-founder? I'm the co-founder. Okay, so I'm talking to the co-founder. Hi, and everybody. Tell us how you. Uh, tell us what you just told me. So my name's Kobe. Uh, I founded Please with my wife Abev. This is our big launch today. Say hi, Abev. She's busy. <laughs> our product is completely allergen friendly. It's dairy free, which I know is very important for us vegans. It's. Uh, doesn't have any nuts, there's no soy. We created this product for, for children. Uh, my wife's a teacher and she, it was very important for her to make a product that all of her kids could have. But one thing I really want to say beyond this product, that the reason that we're here on the market is because of you and your blog. Uh, we've been watching you for a long time, ever since we changed our diets. Uh, you make amazing recipes and we've been following you around and we're just really uh, happy to meet you. Thank you for being here. Thanks guys. Yeah, sure. What flavor do you want to go for? Of course, we got some nodding uh, room. Some nod Woo, yeah. How's it going? Ready to serve up some scoops? <laughs> we, got, we at least got my favorite here. We don't have Rocky this road, but we got birthday cake and the marshmallow starter. Yes. Why don't you have Rocky as Road? I know, I'm sorry. We forgot our one of our favorite flavors, but it is at Whole Foods, I believe, and Wegmans, if you're outside of the city, so. about two years ago. These will be available in the stores, probably about this size, frozen, um, hopefully October. So right now, we're just uh, serving them up to the public. We got this really good bread from uh, Signature Bakeries. It's a clean label, and vegan, of course. And uh, we're serving it up with um, Roma tomato, romaine lettuce, and uh, our horseradish tartar sauce. What are we using Miyoko's for? Uh, we're using Miyoko for the for the uh, for the bread. For the bread, the toast yes, of bread. Yes, the toast of bread. Yes. Okay, perfect. Good you to guys see know you. Know how to cook? You yes. must be a chef. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a good thing we're a chef-forward company. 
I made a good catch. And uh, Will also has some Annie Brand. How, how do you like them? Super comfortable, awesome. When you're on your freight all day at the booth, you gotta have, you know be comfortable, and they're awesome. And, and how'd you find out about them? You. You guys can also get them by using the code <laughs> Zombie Kicks, and you'll get yourself a sweet pair of shoes, and five dollars will be donated to Mercy for Animals. Do it. found some out of this world oat milk uh, planet oat and it was really good these bowls are made from salt trees salt trees are grown in northern part of India and Nepal and these trees shed leaves every 30 days so right before the leaves fall the local farmers go and pick them pick them which looks like these uh, they are hand stitched sun dried and heat pressed for the shape of it uh, because it's just leaf and stem and there's no chemicals nothing at all it's completely organic and biodegradable uh, so unlike other compostable product you can buy comp uh, biodegrade this at home it naturally decomposes uh, back to the earth um, traditionally these plant paste uh, plates were used for wedding ceremonies and rituals and festivals uh, in rural Nepal and India so you can eat hot cold warm food um, sir, at home these are ideal for like birthdays parties picnics also if you have a food truck restaurant um, you can serve it in these uh, so where can yeah. people purchase them so you can buy it on Amazon shortly um, and on our website madebyleaf.com madebyleaf.com awesome yeah. thanks guys thank, thank you, you. Amazon. Um, we're on Amazon. We're on Vitacost. We're 
on Kroger Ship. Uh, they're in a lot of boutiques too. Like if you're in here in New York, we have at Orchard Grocer. Also, what is the other one? And Long Island. Oh, uh, Sweet to Lick. And then Ludlow Hotel has them in all the hotel rooms. And then obviously you can find them a lot of places in Texas. Uh, we're throughout the states, but if you go on our website and hit locations, you can find all of them. An expo is not an expo without Miyoko. So I'm here with Miyoko and she's going to tell us about her new product. Hey, so Chris, we're going to be launching some new butters in a tub. You know, a lot of people ask us for spreadable butter. So we're, we're coming out with a spreadable butter in a tub that'll be original. And then we also have our cheesy garlic butter that'll be in a tub. What's really exciting about those is that our traditional European style culture vegan butter is made with a fermented cashew milk that's churned with coconut oil. Instead, we've decided because of the cashew allergies or nut allergies some people have, our new tub butters will be made with oat milk that's fermented, churned with coconut oil. So that's gonna be coming out, hopefully hitting grocery shelves in the fourth quarter of this year. Awesome, can't wait. It's really good too. This is, I'm not sure, I think it's an orange. That's a cake, man. Yeah. So that wraps up this video. I'm on my way home now. And uh, I think that the first plant-based expo was a hit. Um, had a lot of fun, met a lot of people, saw a bunch of friends. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time.